Hi there, it's time for a new episode of Inspired by a Card with Natalie. So come join me and I'll show you how I'm going to transform a card into a memory keeping layout using the new Craft Your Life Project Kit Hello Beautiful. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Inspired by a Card with Natalie. Today's inspiration is from Nanette Medero from the latest blog hop. This is the Craft Your Life Project Kit Hello Beautiful, which is the stamp set that we're gonna use. And I'm also also gonna use sorry, I'm also gonna use the circle quilt cover die because that's the die that Nanette used for the background of her card. So I pull some of the elements of her card. You're gonna see it right now, that's her card. And let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna change it a bit for my memory keeping layout which is my gratitude journal so Nanette actually embossed her flowers and I'm gonna do the same because it's gonna help me with water coloring and it's gonna give me that texture that I need on my page so I am using watercolor paper from Alton New this is the 9 by 12 paper pad and because I'm using watercolor paper whenever you um, try to emboss something there watercolor paper kind of soaks up liquid so I have to stamp my images and this is the craft your life project kit hello beautiful stamp set i have to stamp it around three two to three times using altenews embossing ink just to make sure that the image remains crisp and i am able to add the embossing powder so once i have the images stamped i'm going to use antique gold embossing powder just to create that texture to create the outline of the flowers and to have that kind of shine onto each one of them now I did my first set, did I heat them up with my gun so that the embossing powder melt and then I went back and added a few more flowers because I'm going to need a few more than the card. I have a larger format to fill. So once I have all my embossing powder melted, it's all about creating, uh, adding color to this. And I'm going to, I want to go with the same thing that I need She had a lot of vibrant color and I'm going to do the same. I am using purple wine brief um, watercolor marker refill to actually color the petals of my flower and i'm gonna go in a very simple way i am actually using my new number four watercolor brush i'm just picking up some water and then literally painting my petal with water i'm just flooding each one of the petals with water and then i'm gonna pick up some of the pigment in this case the proper wine refill um and then i'm gonna drop it at the base of the petal and then help it with my brush just to move it along the petal you know where i have it all full of water it's not completely like um it's just damp the water the pigment is just kind of gonna bloom through the petal so all i'm doing is helping it move with the tip of my brush and that's just gonna create that depth of color it's gonna make it darker towards the center of the petal and kind of just faint as it goes to the tip of it so i'm gonna follow the same procedure for each one of my petals i'm gonna add extra pigment to the ones that are hidden or underneath that i want to add that different levels of dimension so once i have all my petals color one of the things that i love about nanette's flowers is that she used blue for the center like a teal blue for the center of each one of the flowers so i'm going to use the same for mine i am using desert night refill uh, watercolor refill for this and all i'm doing is just picking up some of the color and just literally with the tip of my brush putting it in each one of the center of the little circles of the center of the flowers now one of the things that i love completely fell in love with the card is that it actually her leaves are really saturated with color and she went with teals and blues i'm gonna go more towards the green just because it's gonna complement my flowers a little bit better so i'm gonna start with a wash of emerald from the spring garden set this again is watercolor uh, marker refill and i just added some water and kind of flooded my leaf with it now i like i said i want to go into a green tone so i'm adding a little bit of moss watercolor uh, refill just to bring that green tone and then to bring some of the blue that I have in the center of the flowers I'm gonna use again desert night watercolor refill just to add it there so you're gonna see that my leaves are not like they're not completely shaded with dimension they're just shaded with different colors and that makes them very vibrant and it actually gonna match the 
pink that I have in the petals. It's like a really uh, vibrant colors. And when I photograph them, you're gonna see it's really, really vibrant. And in reality, it's that vibrant. And I love it. So it's gonna take my time, and then I'm gonna set that aside to dry, and I'm gonna start working on the background for my um, for the die cut. For this, once again, I am using watercolor paper, and I'm using the same tones that I use for the leaves. So all I'm doing is just mixing some of the colors together using my flat brush from um, the watercolor brush set and I'm just literally painting the stripes of watercolor going from dark and kind of adding some more water so the color faints as it goes down the paper. If you see the card then I'd use a piece of uh, pattern paper that has that look because I'm, I have the same pattern paper but it doesn't match the color of the leaves I had to create my own and I love that. I love the fact that you know I can match the background to the leaves and one of the things is I love adding a splatter to my work so I'm adding some splatters of the paint onto the background just to create those little um, you know little splatters of color and the bleach effect on the paint I'm gonna set that aside to dry and then start working on just creating the rest of the elements so Nanette like I said before she used the circle quilt cover die to create the panel of her car i went ahead and actually die cut that out of 140 pound um white cardstock and i also used the die set from the craft your life uh project kit hello beautiful to die cut my flowers so all i'm doing right now is just gluing the um cover die panels onto the watercolor paper that i created you know with that wash and then i'm just gonna trim them so that's gonna have the same idea of the card panel but i'm gonna use this as mat for my um pictures on my gratitude journal now my gratitude journal is a large notebook so each page is seven and a half inches by nine so it's quite larger than a card so my idea is here's where it's gonna take you know a totally different uh, look but it's based on her card i'm gonna use the card panels at the top left corner and bottom right corner of my layout i want to create a diagonal design so i'm gonna glue my panels right onto the pages you're gonna see that i transform my pictures to black and white so that they actually pop from the page along with the flowers and i'm gonna place them i'm gonna say on the top um right towards the center so you're gonna see that i'm placing one at the bottom it's gonna be hard it's just towards the center creating a diagonal design then i'm gonna use the flowers and then i use them in at the bottom of the car kind of in a horizontal look instead i'm gonna add the flowers that i created these are again from the craft your life project kit hello beautiful kind of hugging the photo if you see the net she had like the flowers and the little sentiment on top i am using the flowers um kind of in the same position but the sentiment in this case is replaced with a with the picture now for the title of this layout the title is going to go on the right hand side of my layout right above the picture i am using a uh, chipboard stickers these are from the enjoy the ride collection i'm using the chipboard sticker that says happy to create part of my title and then i'm using the chipboard office to create um, the word together so the title is going to read happy together and then i'm also going to bring one of the little chipboards just as an accent at the bottom of that um, photo and this photo is of my kids and my niece and nephew now that my title is done i'm actually gonna add a few splatters of antique gold metallic ink spray i just want to tie in that embossing a uh, texture that embossing powder onto also the background of my page so i'm adding just a few splatters around the flowers and the pictures and that's about it i added my lines of journal underneath the picture on the left plenty of space there to just write my uh, thoughts and i love how this turned out it was all inspired by nanette madero's car i'm actually gonna link her blog onto the comments so you can see it and as always i love how this turned out i love the fact that i used a stamp and i was able to pull inspiration and i you know i wish that um you know we can do this every week because it's actually really fun um as always if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact me um remember to check the blog for more details and to subscribe to the channel for a lot more content thank you so much for joining me and take care guys Hello crafters, Jen here. For more tips, techniques, tutorials, and to discover which paper crafting products are right for you, 
subscribe to Alta News YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.